equipment is uh, to find out horizontal angle and vertical angle using total station. So as we know that total station is a modern equipment, it is a combination of light, level, tape, so because it gives you everything with the press of the button. So in this particular exercise you have to do the same procedure, you have to center this instrument you have to level with the help of the foot screws and then you have to carry out the focusing work. So what do you focus here? Suppose I want to find out the vertical angle between A and B. A is this point and B is the point where I am keeping the prism. So this is a prism. And the function of this prism is that the instrument will send infrared beam to this prism and it will reflect back. So I have to bisect my telescopic tube towards this prism. An infrared beam will strike and return back. So the instrument will record basically the phase difference, time travel. And it will give me distance, it will give me elevation, it will give me horizontal angle, it will give me vertical angle. So today in the exercise we are only focusing on horizontal angle and vertical angle. So normally what we do is we keep the height of the prism equal to the height of the total station so that we don't have to add one and subtract another one in the formula it will be automatically cancelled so here we keep the prism we can increase the height with the help of the clutch here and when we are holding this particular prism at point B there is a bubble tube so you have to ensure that the you are holding it in such a way so that the bubble is in the center so this is purely vertical so at point B now we have to keep at point B and between A and B we can find out what is the vertical angle. We can also find out with the reference to some line what is the included horizontal angle. So this exercise you have to do. So what you are going to do is that you are going to bisect this one and prism through the telescopic view. So once you bisect the prism then you have to press these functional keys. So when you are pressing these functional key, you can see here H, Z and V. Horizontal angle and vertical angle, uh, you can directly determine. So you don't have to record anything here. You can store all the values. So once you finish the horizontal and vertical angle at point B, now you can move to another point C. So you can move to another point C and you have to do the same thing again. Then you have to move to the point D, you have to find out the, uh, the horizontal angle and vertical angle of various points. So you have to just shift the prism from one station to another station and note down horizontal and vertical angle. You can store all the values and later on you can transfer all the values through the software into your PC and use for the computation purpose. So there are lot of uses of these horizontal and vertical angle. So we are going to compute the sides, we are going to compute the elevation difference. So horizontal angle and vertical angles are required for that purpose. Because ultimately you need the coordinates of B, C, D, E, F points. So for determining the coordinates you need horizontal angle and vertical angles. That's why you are determining. So very simple procedure, you have to aim the target and target is your prism and then using these functional key you determine the elevation values what are the elevation values you can determine that uh, um, horizontal angle and vertical angle you can determine directly from the display okay so exercise is clear